Hello fiends! In this project, I'm going to repaint a Strawberry Shortcake doll to be Franny K. Stein. These are ones from The Bridge Direct, starting around 2014, obviously secondhand. We have one strawberry and two cherry jams, I think. I wanted a plum pudding to do Franny because her hair is lighter and matches better, but I found these ones from my favorite flea market vendor. Speaking of hair, these girls need some work. I've been compromising with allowing dolls to keep their original hair simply to go easier on my hands. These heads are really too hard for me to be able to reroute them. To get the hair more manageable, I washed and left them each in a cup of fabric softener, specifically Suavitel from the dollar store, for roughly 24 hours. It turned out pretty okay. The cherry that I'm not using for this, she was giving me problems even after leaving her for two whole days, but I'll get to her some other time. These dolls have bangs and a part line near the middle, but it isn't exact and doesn't go all the way down. I tried to thatch her hair so that it doesn't look so so bad when I give her pigtails, but the rooting wasn't very good. I did my best, but I'm not very satisfied with it. I straightened her hair and it came out much nicer. The temperature that worked on these lines was 302 degrees Fahrenheit. The bangs are parted to the side, but I tried to tie them down to get the fringe that Franny has. I cut them straight to get them even for right now, but I'll trim them correctly when her face is painted. Actually, I swapped the bodies of the two cherries. I thought the pink and purple stripes that the one had on her legs would look really nice, but Franny has, like, white shoe sock things. I wasn't sure how I wanted to do them yet, but I figured that I could use the leggings for the other doll since that one will be a new character. I broke the neck peg of the one that I needed because these heads weren't soft enough after like 10 minutes in boiling water. I tried to fix it with wire and a bead like I did for Spite, but that broke so I tried it again with an epoxy bead and wire and epoxy glue. I had to force it on there, but hopefully it won't come off again. So then, her hair is on its way to being set. I put a sleeve on her whole head while I do her shoes. I think the only real material that I'll be able to use for this is epoxy, which had me asking if I should make actual shoes or just do her legs up how the illustrations have her. I went with a ladder because why not? Before this, of course, I sanded off the glitter top that Cherry had as well as her legs so that I can paint all of this area in white. She'll get a dress, of course, but the fabric that I used is a little tiny bit sheer, so doing this makes me feel better to have this child fully clothed. I had some trouble getting the shoes exactly even as I was sanding them, but it's not very noticeable. The paint didn't give me as many troubles as white paint can sometimes give me in my projects. I used a lot of thin layers, waiting very long in between because of humidity, and sanding it a little bit with a couple different grains to get rid of bad layering. I can still see the paint strokes, but I don't know, call it fabric texture. I sealed it with a bunch of layers of watered down Gloucester clear, so it's nice and matte. Of course, it scraped in a couple places after I did this, so it would never be even no matter how hard I tried to get it there. To make her dress, or I think they call it a lab coat, I did the usual tape method to get the measurements correctly. I did it a couple of times, intending to see what a couple methods would get, but I guess I gave too much seam allowance on everything because even the sleeves came out super big, even when I attached them backwards. The second one came out pretty good, I think. I used Fabrifix to hem it because I'm not great at sewing anymore and the scale is kind of too small for me to do that. I made these sleeves out of the hem of the shirt that I used for the fabric, and that was essentially perfect for this. I sewed on the skirt twice because it was just a little too low and a little too long the first time. I waited until I finished the rest of her to sew up the back because I don't intend on giving her different clothes. If I make a better dress someday, then I'll just swap them out. Sometimes you don't need to make things complicated if they don't need to be. Practicality. It's completely fine. Anyway, it's time for her face up. I want to place where her eyes are so I know early. I tried to get them decently even, despite this face having only a nose and cheeks to go off of for symmetry. Using my phone to get a closer, clearer look helped me, even though I apparently can't mirror images with my phone's photo editor. I liked how I drew her left eye, but trying to match the right eye to it rubbed off the two layers of Mr. Super Clear that was on her face. So, you know, good sealant. 
did not completely wipe the face of a doll my sib was working on after several layers of sealant because it's a good sealant and I want anyone who disagrees to jump off a cliff. It's a good sealant that's very good and always works perfectly every time. So yeah, I drew on her eyes and I tried to add detail to her ears and nose. Besides that, she just needs blushing to start out. I'm going to paint her eyes on because I want the whites to be very vibrant. I guess that means the irises are going to be probably impossible to do, but who cares. She's a cartoon and doesn't seem to have a cannon eye color. You already know what color she's getting from me. I feel like it fits. And yes, I know that they're not even. The next layers are just me trying to make it look decent. The pink became more neon color, so I tried to go over it, but it didn't help. Toning it down wasn't enough in my opinion. This face had a little spot on one cheek, and then had some weird layer thing happen on the first pastel seal, so that one also looks like garbage. I don't really want to give her freckles just because she's a grayscale cartoon without a lot of details. Like, she's not usually drawn with even eyebrows and lashes, but a couple other characters besides Franny are drawn with freckles. I guess the blushing kind of goes against that, but I do also want her to look like a little kid that's really, really tired. I mean, how many elementary school mad scientists get a decent amount of sleep? Probably not a lot. The eyes gotta be sunken. The natural look is why I was also really careful with blushing her lips, since Franny almost definitely doesn't wear any tinted lip balm. For the main event of the blushing slash pencils part of the face up, we're giving her big, bold eyebrows. I finally got those tiny cotton swabs and they are very handy. I like them a lot. I went in with dark brown first as a base. I used dark brown and black and purple for the hairs of the eyebrows just to make them look darker and maybe a little less unnatural despite her hair color, which again is darker than it is canonically, but the eyebrows should match a little bit. The hairs kind of got muddled, but that's fine. I'm really careful about how many layers I do on faces. I try not to do enough to where layers underneath are going to be ruined by one specific place where it messes up. Still, I colored in the layers just to have a base for the paint. It's just white paint. Obviously, since the sketches were uneven, the painted layers are naturally going to follow suit. I'm not expecting to get much better. I'm also not beating myself up about it. I can't change it at this point without redoing the face, and I don't know how long the weather is even going to let me seal to begin with. It's not like I'm staking my career on this, this is far from a magnum opus. Sure, strive for excellence, but know that you don't have to be completely excellent in everything. Nobody starts out perfect, just ignore that I've been doing this for a while, it's cool, it's cool. Oh you know what, it's fine if you've been doing it a while and still aren't good. You can still be good at other things. You shouldn't expect everything to be your strong suit. <clears throat> so anyway, we're just gonna paint on her irises as well. You know that she has to have green eyes, that's like a requirement from me. I want them to be electric, but I think I made them a little too small to get a good gradient on them. I also wanted them to have that outline around them for character. My advisor said to keep her without pupils, but I thought she looked empty without them. I think the pupils are fine, but of course they also came out uneven. Just the entirety of our eyes are uneven, whatever. I'll fix up the bottom of her eyebrows and accidentally record me sitting up rather than actually shading her eyes with some more pastels. Besides that, I just need to fix up her shoes and her hair. I also painted the strawberry logo on the bottom of her foot in the same grayscale as the books, and I'm happy that I did. Tying up her hair kinked it again, so I'll give her pigtails another quick straighten, as well as flatten down her fringe again before I trim it. Of course, take it slow, take it slow. I'm gonna stop just above her eyebrows because I really want them to be seen, but it isn't exactly quite that short canonically. I like it this way. To finish her off, I just need to tie up a couple of ribbons around her pigtails. Sorry that the video sucks. Well, I guess she could use some other things. I used some leftover epoxy to make a couple test tubes and a flask that I didn't wind up using because I didn't like how they turned out. By the way, don't wait on epoxy to cure to use it. The package says that prime sculpting time is one or two hours after it's mixed, but even five minutes may be a little too firm for me sometimes. Like, this video here is an hour, an hour and ten minutes after mixing, and I can't even need this damn stuff. It's useless to me now to sculpt precise stuff. I can't even make a snake of clay because it no longer sticks to itself. Well anyway, I did use epoxy to make some floppy ears. For Igor. 
Gosh, I had to use the Sultan Princess Palace pet base again. I ran out of pumpkin and I don't have any other dog bases. This time I'll make the ears bigger so that they look better than Odie's. I don't really need to change the base's face for this. Making clay very flush with vinyl is super hard sometimes. It either chips or it doesn't blend right. It's probably fine. I don't think Eager's ever been shown in color canonically, at least as far as I've seen. I had Ken and Eager as being kind of grayish brown, so that's what I'm going to paint him. I'll just paint on the heart-shaped nose that he has. I wasn't going to, but I did go ahead and add some pastels to him too because I thought the paint looked too flat. I actually really like how it came out as it's almost exactly what I imagine his fur to look like. I love Eager. He's such a good little fella. His eyes are pretty boring. I went with the mold shape and I gave him like dark gray green eyes. I wanted something kind of like my dog Moose's eyes, but darker. It's really kind of muddy, but again, it's okay that there's not a lot of detail here. I really didn't like the way that he was looking like this, so I did go ahead and paint in some eyebrows for him. They're not fantastic. I think maybe he's just too cute on this base to look like Igor. It doesn't really hit for me. So here they both are. I think a lot of Franny came out okay. I think overall her hair is okay, her dress is okay, her shoes are alright. If I were able to get her more symmetrical, I think she would have turned out really good. The blending on the face is good, the color of the blush isn't great, but the eye bags look really good in my opinion. The eye color is alright, I think it's just a little too dark to go with this tone of hair. I really wish I could have found the base that I wanted for her, but I don't hate her with darker hair like this. Igor is alright technically, mostly. The sculpting isn't the best and I don't love the ears. And like I said, he's too cute looking like this, but I'm glad that I got his fur color the way that I wanted it. But I am happy that I made him just because he's a good little boy.